Good Sunday morning, guys and girls. Good morning. It is episode 537. And today we've got my friend Naval Ravikant for a quote. And this is a special quote. It really is a great quote. Listen to it here. The more you desire, the more desire you have for an outcome, the less you can trust your decision. I'm going to say it again because I butchered it a little bit. The more desire you have for an outcome, the less you can trust your decision. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, 100% true in personal and in business, mainly in business because sometimes in personal, I know I just bought a caravan and I've got a desire for that outcome. And have we got the money? Can we afford it? Da, 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 da. Do you know what? I don't really know. I don't really. I, I've just done it. I've just done it because... I have desire for that outcome. And yes, if I'd have spoke to somebody like a financial advisor or my mentors, they'd have said, don't be so stupid. Don't do that. You don't need it. But that's okay because it's personal. It's Do you know what? Uh, another thing that I always say is it's not the cost. It's the value. Don't look at things with cost. Look at things with value. And the caravan will give me loads and loads of value. Okay, so we're talking about business with this one then for me because um, with my personal finances, et cetera, um, I just... I just pay and go. I just, if it's going to give me value, if the kids are going to enjoy it, then yeah, let's do it. Like a football pitch in my garden. It was a bloody 3G football pitch in the garden, but I, I, I wanted it. And it was a, it, in terms of an investment point of view, it was a stupid decision. It's not going to put value on the house, but we got enjoyment from it. We got value from it. So therefore it's worth it. So I'm talking for me personally here about business. The more you have, the more desire you have for an outcome, the less you can trust your decision. There's, me with my self-storage facilities, I always think the problem is that, yes, I am very much positive thinking. The glass is always not half full, but it's three quarters full. It really is. It's always three quarters full. So I know that that's my looking on the positive side is, as it happens, one of my weaknesses. Um, and I don't want to get rid of that weakness, but I know it's there. I'm aware of it. And I know that sometimes that I can't tr trust my decisions because I get emotionally attached, emotionally involved to something. So I have mentors who have a look at the figures, who have a look at the site and said, Dean, this is good. No, Dean, this is stupid. You're an idiot. What are you thinking? How do you on earth do you think this is going to work as a self-storage? And, and so I, that's why I have mentors, because I know that I can't trust my own decision because I'm emotionally connected to it, because I'm emotionally connected to the result. I'm thinking, yeah, let's grow, let's grow, let's grow. We've got to get to a quarter of a billion pound company in 20 years. So to do that, we need to grow. We need to take risks. We need to do this. And But I know that I need somebody pulling me down and pulling my legs back and saying, Dane, Dane, just, you, you're taking off here. We need, to, we need to get your level, get you grounded again. And um, yeah, because I can't trust my decisions. And so the more you desire an outcome or an object, the less you can trust your decisions around that. Oh, love it. Naval Ravikant, you are the man, man. Okay, thank you so much. It's been Sunday morning. I don't know why I said it. Why, why, why have I said it's been Sunday morning? I don't know. I've recorded five on the bounce. Right, I'm off. See you later, guys, girls. I'm going to have my breakfast. See you soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.